Stuck in Frenzy here and welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a mini arrangement with this cute looking pot. This cute little angular pot with these three adorable succulents right here. Okay. So, let me just take you through how I make it. Let's get it. So, let's start off with the first succulent here. Um, this is a, a Necrocero Crinata variegated. As you can see, they have like cute little hair fibers and pink and white variegated foliage on it. And it's so cute. It's brown. It's tiny, petite. Um, it has those cute little pink colors on them, which is so adorable. Let me just adjust for you guys to see more. There we go. Look at that. Ain't it cute? Now, this next one here is a Anacanceros Telefacium Sunset. So, fertilizer. So this is a succulent with also pink and white variegated foliage and it does look like a cute little watermelon and it's so adorable. I love this. So yeah. And the last one is um, Tentalia Berry um, Crassula Yang David, I guess. Um, it has these um, cute and bright variegated pink and uh, white on it. And it has this fuzzy, um, fibery look around the entire plant. And it's so unique. It's so, I don't know, awesome. I should put it that way. So yeah. Now, these three, it's gonna be in this pot. It's gonna be in here. So I'm just gonna start doing it by first applying this. This is a mix between Akadama um, soil with um, these airy stones. Okay. Then this is our super mix. I call it a super mix that I created myself using perlite, akadama soil, more of these um, pebbles. Um, there's also some fibers, there's also cocoa peat, there's a lot of things in here. Then here we have some more extra fiber that we need and the other mixture. This is more, um, it has, this has more perlite in it. So, yeah, let's use this. Let's start potting up these cute, adorable plants. So I got these cute little buckets too, just to put them temporarily. So I'm just gonna take these. All right, let's get into making our cute little arrangement with these three wonderful adorable looking plants so yeah let's start off with this um uh stone mixture i have here with um akadama and some grainy stones so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna fill the whole bottom with these stones just a little bit okay too much, maybe just a little bit more, like so. Like so, just put it a little bit, okay, just a little bit. Not too much. It depends on how big your pot is. If your pot is um, taller, let me 
get tall compared to this as you can see the differences. You could fill up the you know the stones and everything lava rock until this high or any height as you want. It depends on how much soil you want to use and uh, which kind of um, succulent are you using because some they need super airy soil, some they need a little bit more um, damp if you may. What do you do next after filling up the stones underneath? We get our soil mix here. My magical, beautiful soil mix here. And I'm just gonna put it on. You know, just scoop it a bunch. Fill up half of the entire container. Not too much because you still have soil or the plant from here. Unless you're um, removing all the soil from the plant. Just like so. And you do not want to fill it up first because we want to adjust where do we want to put the plant, how do we want to angle the plant. Okay. So, oh, and this soil here is actually mixed with fertilizer. I mixed some fertilizer in, like, um, with milk coat. Some other fertilizer for you know the look of the plants and everything. So let's start off. Let's put this aside. Okay. Let's start off with this Anacanthus crinata, crinita variegated. The names are sometimes hard to pronounce. So I need to put out all the soil like so. Pinch the pots. To loosen up the roots and so as you can see the roots are all the way down here so all these you can just pop them off you don't need those okay just loosen up a little bit and pull the plant to pull now if some some plants you should not hold the leaves um, like for example Povon Nornbergs or um, Echeveria opalinas. They have those um, powdery surfaces, and those are used for, you know, defending themselves from the sunlight. So if they don't have that, they will get sunburned. So what we want to do now is loosen up all the soil. Try to loosen up as much as possible. And just put it aside. Now let me just do a small little time lapse of removing all the soil for you guys. So we got all the soil out from the plants, all three of them. Now don't worry if the leaves of them get um, a little bit dirty, you know, it's okay. You can use a brush, a soft brush to like remove those dirt and dust off from the leaf. Now I'm just clearing up those dead leaves now, as you can see, there's a lot of them. Just like so. There isn't any dead leaves because we do not want to put the dead leaves together with the plants because it will cause issues and it will bring mini bugs, it will bring um, aphids, it will have pests that you do not want to have you know, on the garden or the plants. All these are clear. These are the soil that we have that provide amazing. And these are actually, you know, good soil. It's actually cocoa peat. It's just how dry it is. So I always love to use it to mix it in together with the mixture. Because it's good. Let's go ahead and put it in a little bit. Now 
this one just like get it and stir it. Okay. So yeah, that's it. So here let's start off and find um, you know the tall ones and which side of the pot is the nicest and the best looking one. So this one, I'm doing it this side. So here will be the front view. So what I will do is I will make the drooping right here. Now, as I second, you can just pop it out like this. Now, the soil and pack the soil in and there isn't any issue. So, at so to the top. Okay. Then you just make a hole for the root to go in. Like so. And you choose the favorite side of the plant. For me, this is my favorite side, so I'm gonna cook it in. Have it in here. Okay. Hello. Then this one, I'm gonna face it this way, so they have like a little twin moment there and if the roots are a bit too long you can just get some scissors and cut them off like so so I'm just gonna do that just like so and push some of these away front area moment. It'll be filling up there and then that will be filling up here so you have like two different kinds. So now what you want to do is you get your stick and just or a skewer or a tweezer and fill up all these at the back. So I always love to start off with the shorts. Short and cute petite. Okay. And just stuff them in. Beautiful. Like so. The shorts on the side. Let me in and let me go. Honestly, try honestly. Let me fly, I've got my hopes But I can hardly see It's okay if you accidentally damage the roots, some roots in the process of putting the plant in it. So just be mindful to you know not water it for the first few days because you want to let the roots, the open wounds, to heal if, so it doesn't you know cause um, root rot. Nice little hole and the stuff is in. And then get the higher.
Now you have your little cute arrangement all packed in there. Now it's time for the top dressing. My favorite part. Here it is, the final product, the final arrangement. And look at how cute it is. Ain't it adorable? You can see all the pings and all the whites all over the place. So yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and click the notification bells down below. See you next time.